Okay, now that we've got all of our dams in place at all the corners, there's the dam right there. You don't you want to blow this out and even use a little water to make sure that they're nice and clean or the mastic is gonna bite into the concrete. In fact, you can see right here we've done a little bit of grinding. And then what we do is we backfill them with sand almost to the very top and we push, I'll push that out as I go. Uh, but you want to fill what we call black, I call black holes. And um, here's a big caulking gun that we use for uh, put the mastic in. And then we also can use just ketchup bottles, which I'll be using because it's a smaller job. But now that we've got this, uh, pretty much all the dams are in place, the backfill sand is in place. And so now we're just going to go ahead and blow it off so we have all the leaves and debris off the driveway and if you don't do that they're gonna end up in your job trust me so uh we're just gonna blow this off real quick get rid of uh, all the debris it'll just take a moment and then we'll start uh, mixing our mastic and dust and everything on the driveway because when you put glue which is essentially what this is in the joint if there's any wind like there is today it's going to end up in the joint always does hates me. Ready to start mixing our mastic, and I usually use a little bit of uh, I usually use uh, some sand and a brush and a cup. Uh, once I got these joints filled up with sand, I'm going to go down and I'll show you how we do the finishing touches here as we're as we're going to these joints. But first, let's mix up some mastic, and there's a trick to that, and I'll show you. Here's our good old caulking gun. And let's see if we can get to where we can mix some mastic and show it. I usually use my mastic gloves. I have a special set of gloves that you're going to ruin them one way or the other. here just ketchup bottles and cut them off I cut them off all the way to the end pretty much you want to pick an area where you can work so if you can see that you can't quite see it all right that'll work and back up just a little bit a little bit more angle on it let's see there you go there you go, right there. Off. 
back into there. Take your plastic, fold it in half. How easy, just fold it right in half. It's gooey, but you can still use it once you fold it. If it wasn't windy, it'd be about easier. And then you don't want to get this stuff on you. Treat it like it's baby poop. And then uh, what you do is now you're ready to start mixing. You take your colorant. I usually have the color first. Open up. I use everything. I use this to let's see. Go and dump your coloring agent. We're using stone today. Just a liquid colorant. And to get it out of the bottom, you want to use a just a regular mixing stick. They come in real handy with this mask, but especially like squeaking off the edges and putting it back down in there. This thing's not cheap. You want to get every little bit you can out of this bucket. So I usually use these paint mm -hmm. sticks to squeaky around and make sure I get it every little bit. I want to get as much colorant too so you're consistent with your salt buckets. I usually get between I don't know, 2x4 joint 30 and 50 feet maybe on these buckets of mastic now. If you're in a hurry like I am, you can go ahead and mix in your color, uh, your activator. You always carry a knife. Can't do any of these jobs without a knife. this at all on anything. If you do, get some xylene and a step wire brush and a rag and clean it up immediately. This will stain the driveway. It looks like K-Roll syrup. But you get that on our driveway and you let it set up and you're not getting it off. Chemicals, fire washing, mechanical, it's very free. Tough stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, depending on humidity and temperature. You've got time, so don't be in a rush. And as I said, I'm treating it like baby poop. Don't get a drop of this stuff or anything on you. When I first started putting it in, I had to be covered in it. So this is what your, your plastic is for. Start out slow. Don't be in a hurry.
can set it back on the plastic is key. And then spill a drop anywhere. And you gotta be very careful. That lid on nice and straight. You get it crooked, you're gonna have a big mess. And you stay as clean as you can as long as you can. And we're gonna go ahead and cut the tip all the way down to the last line. There's two lines on here. And I cut it down to the very last line. Just like that. You want to keep a cup of sand, handy, lay down the joint, we've already made sure the joint is nice and clean, and we've already ground, ground, grinded the inside of it is so we know we're tapping into, we're going to have to be getting the glue into a good, a good substrate here, and that's about what, how you want it, just like that, I usually run a knife down the edge of what the area that I'm going to do and then I'll leave my knife right exactly where I left off. I've already pretty much cleaned these. But you want to make sure you don't have any sand, any sand where you, where you want to be tying into with the uh, substrate. Now we'll go with our mastic. Some of the wider two by four joints I've seen. These are actually it's like about two inches thick, two inches wide. Typically, they're not this wide, but there's a lot more material. It is SL and it is self leveling. And you'll get about six of these 32 ounce bottles per bucket. That's how you do that. 